coming up on Sunday. I don't even want to talk about the game with this guy, even though he won one of them. Super Bowl 34 winning head coach, the great Dick Vermeil joins us back here live on Radio Row. You're smart. You know, your people say, oh, we got to go talk to the Baltimore guys. How are we going to get through to them? Dick Vermeil is a wine connoisseur. And he's a wine maker, too. Welcome in, coach. Good, good to have you. Good to have you. A 2006 Cabernet, just called Vermeil, which is a pretty appropriate title for you. It wasn't my idea to put the name on the bottle, but our Vermeil wine group decided to Anyway, that's actually a 2008 vintage proprietary river called 34 after Super Bowl 34. And it's, it's a blend of three Cabernet vineyards and 18% Cabernet and 18% Merlot. And it's a nice bottom of the line. It's a nice Did you, how did you get interested in wine? You started, you grew up, right? You grew up in Freddie and Annie Vineyard. Her son in law is our winemaker, and her daughter runs our council education. So I'm, and I've been making wine as a hobby since 1999, bottling about 150 to 200 cases of Jean Louis Vermeer, which is actually Vermeer. Uh, Cabernet is a hobby. And uh, some friends came to me two and a half, three years ago and said, Coach, hey, uh, we'd like to be in the wine business. Let us get involved with this. Can you have all the connections? So, uh, we did it. So, after, so after a game, after a win, after you, would, you, would, after, uh, you would sit down over a steak. I assume that was your uh, meal of choice back in the old days when your coach sat down with a steak. And which we don't make. So, Dick Vermeil with us. We're talking uh, Super Bowl and talking. Why with him, RemealWines.com, where you can find the uh, and see that you're serving it here this week. So yeah, Southern, Southern Wine and Spirits. This is our distributor here. Okay. Well, good. We'll have to get, get a hold of some. Uh, the game, obviously, uh, Sunday, we're all here to talk Super Bowl, but the game on Sunday will be interesting because it'll give Mike McCarthy his first chance to get one of them. And Tomlin's been here before. I've talked to this uh, Southern Pepper since with uh, Brian Bell. The difference between a coach who's been to the game before and you, you know you would fit this. You know, a coach who's been in the game before, and a guy that hasn't been, been there before. And how do you, if you are Mike Tomlin, you know, how do you remind your players that this isn't that big of a deal, and yet it's the biggest game, game of their life? Yeah. Versus a guy like Mike McCarthy, who's seen it for the first time. Talking well, about know, both of those angles. Having been there, both. Having been first time I went, I called Chuck Miller. We already been there. Right. He gave me some advice. He said, just go there and do things the way you've been doing it all right. And it helps you earn your right to be there. And that's what I was about. And, you know, unlike the NFL, I mean, unlike the NBA or Major League Baseball, it's a series of seven. Yeah, right. It's a huge shot. What you have to do is be the best team game. You have to be the best team for the entire year. Which I really think of. I think Pittsburgh is the best team for the entire year. Schedule, right. I just think it's more demanding route to go to the Who wins the ballgame? Who plays the best of game? Who doesn't play the ball? Who ends up with a question to do in the tournament? Thank you. Coach, I'm a, I cover the Cardinals just with those. I have never hit the life finish for Kirk Warner. I mean, the man assaults you. Incredible human being. When you coach Kirk Warner, what was it in that first season? When did you know? When did you know that Kurt Warner was going to be this type? For going from you know the bagger right. and and that whole story to the guy that he became in the NFL. Yeah. Well, Cincinnati Bengals game was a real indicator. Third game of the season, he threw some shots, big plays. You know, but then what really was icing on the cake? Actually, he scored the game the next week against the Cardinals. They beat him seven team. Almost have to throw game to lose to somebody <laughs> 17 times. Ago. But they did. And at the end of the first quarter, we're up 21 to 3. And from three touchdown passes in the fourth quarter. I remember turning to Jim Hennepin, 
season. Great offense. Yeah. 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 This guy can play. He just better not score a lot. And Mike Marks did a marvelous job of coaching him. At that time, I knew we had something very good. It seems amazing to think. In the first game that season, of course, against our Baltimore Ravens. And, 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 and the Ravens were a good team. Right. Would have to, go, to win the next season. Yeah. Um, it's funny to think about the fact that there were fans in town that when Frank Green got hurt said, we got to play Joe Germain, right? Yeah. you got to play the Ohio State kid. How did that decision, what was it that you saw in Kirk? You know, what was it that said, he, I know he's never played at this level. I know he doesn't have the pedigree necessarily. But I think there's something there. Well, Mike Martin and I and the rest of the members of staff discussed this, discussed this, discussed it, discussed it. We looked at what was out there. We talked, we talked about the veteran quarterback from the Raiders because Mike White had him at the Raiders. He had some family issues and the health scare for him and everything. And I just finally said to myself, somebody that's been in our program now for two years, being coached by my coach, should be better running our offense than somebody who can bring in and one of the to be our brother. So I leaned on my coaches for talent to help me make that decision. And then just I kept looking back to everything I saw him do. And Kurt always did on the practice field. Even as the second he threw completely passes. And the first thing you have to do as a coach is give him credit for that. Your doubt is can he do it in Big time. Can he do it under pressure? Can he do it live Sunday in big games? And we just decided, you know, we can win with this guy. He won't get his feet. We didn't scale down the offense. We didn't cut back in. We said, we're going to go with him and turn him loose. And he was way beyond our expectations. Because there's too much put into it. We've talked to coaches about, about this issue throughout the week. Uh, Jeff Fisher, recent departure from Tennessee without a team and the question of, is he a great coach? No without, without, without no. Yeah, yeah. without one. Is that unfair for people to label coaches and or players as they're not great because they don't have a role? Is that unfair? Yeah, they're just like they've done it to Chuck Myers. They've done it to Marty Schottman. Yeah, Marty Schottman is going to go to Brian Patel. Now, Bill Patel is going to a great football. I'm not saying it's right. But, yeah, the, the game is so big that we're playing Sunday that it supersedes everything else. It becomes... The determining factor, you know, and sometimes, like my case, we win maybe in spite of it, not because of it, you know. <laughs> yeah, you say, well, I had a bad day, we still won. Yeah. <laughs> right. you know, you just, uh, and I, I'm not saying it's wrong, but that's the American way. The victory, and there's no second time to say it. Who's Dick Hermione? He's with Hermione Wines. Dick, it's funny, this is a question for you. Greg Kinnear played Jim Carson, played Jim Vincent. When the Kurt Warner movie comes out, and I know it's going to happen because the, the story is so incredible, it has it to happen. happen. You're a couple years older. Who plays you in the Kurt Warner movie? I am Dick Hermione. Who plays me? Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, <laughs> what did you? What, was it weird? What did you think of Greg Kinnear in the first movie? What did you think? He did a great job. First one, he took great pride in trying to be me. Really? He took great, he really studied me. He came to training camp uh, and spent a day and a half with me uh, you know, I was coaching the Reds. I was coaching Kansas City Chiefs. And, and, and we were at the training camp in Wisconsin, River Falls. And, uh, he, he, did, he sincerely took on the challenge of being me at that time, my mentor. And, and when I first saw that movie, it made me nervous. Right. They were saying things as I said them. They got you pegged, right? Yeah. yeah. He had me pegged. My wife said he did. What's that feeling like seeing yourself on the big scene? It made me nervous. This it really did. I went to the grand premiere in New York. I was sitting right behind Roger, our commissioner. And I, it made me nervous. It really did. Coach, great to visit with you. You're going to leave a bottle of this wine? Oh my God almighty. Oh I would love to, but I know we have. Well, bring a bottle away out of here. I'll get some. I'll get my hands on it. I'm Billy. I can go in and stay Okay. I'll get my hands on it. It's a championship wine. From a championship wine. There's other stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Any parting messages for anybody in Baltimore? Tell us that our team's close and we're going to get there. We might be a champion next year. I was telling you, three of my coaches. That's right. I think he's a natural born leader. I've been 
How are we going to beat Pittsburgh, Coach? How are we going to beat Pittsburgh? You know, their organization has been successful for a long time. But if anybody can do it, I think your organization can. You know, the total, it, it takes the entire team to lift that seven and a half pound one two trophy. It takes the entire organization, not just one more player, but it takes everything. And I think they put so many good things in place. They will do the right things, and, and, but you're in a tough division, just like the old Houston Oilers with Bum Phillips. Never could get there. Why? Because they had to go through Pittsburgh. Now it's the Ravens have to go through Pittsburgh, but they have to play them twice. One day we're going to walk across that bridge yeah. and exercise yeah, that. Yeah, right, right, right. Coach, thank you so much. We can't tell you how much we appreciate it. It's nice to have met you. Waiting thank a long you. time. Thank you very much. Great. Right. Thank yeah, thanks. What a show. What a great day. Oh, we're done? Yeah, this is it. It's, it's 10 o'clock. It's day's over. You just look at that. Oh, I'm doing a Harbaugh drinks our... Uh, uh, really wow. Harbaugh's done it. Harbaugh's done it. We'll be a wide fan. Are you wearing a good man?